Hi fam, welcome to today's vlog. We've woken up to a very, very, very wet day here in Disneyland Paris, which is absolutely fine because if you've been watching these vlogs, you know. I went to Home Bargains just before we left because I forgot umbrellas and I bought three giant ones. Kind of wish I'd have bought a few more than three now. My thinking was we don't want to be lugging a load of umbrellas around with us and we'll probably be able to make do with the three. Will we? Me and one. I think so. I think we'll have enough. Obviously the little two will be in the pram, Aurora will be on me. We've got the rain cover so we should be fine. We had such a restful sleep here last night. I absolutely love sleeping in this camper van area in Disneyland Paris though it is quite expensive. It's 40 euros per night which is about 40 pound and you get nothing so there's no facilities. No water, no electricity. I think there might be toilets quite far down there on the way to the park that you can use but aside from that what you get is your parking spot that's about it but that's obviously you're at Disney you're on the you're on site so that's probably why however we have booked to a check-in this morning to the David Crockett Ranch which is our favorite Disney hotel we get lots of questions asking which is our favorite we've stayed at the Hotel New York which is now a Marvel hotel we've stayed at the Cheyenne we've stayed at the Santa Fe and our favourite that we always go back to is the David Crockett. It's especially good for large families because you can fit. This year we've had to get two. It's the first year we've had to get two. So as a family of seven last year, we could just get one cabin. Um, the girls have got their own cabin at the side of ours this year, which is really exciting and new. Although they keep saying it's so unnammy that we have to go in our own cabin. Uh, I think they want to be with us, but they are only next door and we can all chill obviously in one cabin anyway. But we're about to go over there now, check in. Um, we won't be able to get our cabin till, till a little bit later on because it's still only early in the morning right now. We'll be able to get our fresh clothes out of the back because we didn't pack very well. Um, so all of our clothes are like right at the back and really difficult to get to. So we're going to sort that out when we get to the cabins later on. But we're going to go there and check in now so that we can get our park tickets, spend a few hours in the park, grab something to eat before going back later and actually checking into our cabins. It's going to be a good day today. Despite the rain, I can hear Aurora crying I think. So I'm going to go feed her and then we're going to get on the road. It's only about a 10 minute drive round to the David Crockett to check in and get our park tickets. Match time, one Hello, match time. Okay, so for me it's everything. Thank you very much. So if you want to keep that uh, bungalow. ready to go. The mission to get the van unpacked and us all in our coats and prammed up is already and done. Guys, look, look how cute these, Mila looks. Look at these little, um, I forgot what they're called, foot moths. Best purchase ever for know, the pram. They, they were literally like 10, 11 pounds from um, Sainsbury's and I kind of wish I'd have got a blue one for Jace. I got, I was thinking Aurora and Mila. Yeah, it's all good. I kind of wish I'd have got a blue one for Jace but it's all good. We can borrow Aurora's if he wants to sit in the pram. <laughs> yeah, but we're all set now. We're all ready to go. Yes! But not, be not before Isla. Are you excited? I'll tell you a little story. I haven't told this story because I wanted to get Isla's reaction to it basically last night when I was editing. It was very bizarre because this never happens in our family. These kids, when they go to bed, they, they, they generally stay asleep all night. No one ever, if anyone wakes up, it's usually because they're ill. Like, no one ever wakes up in the night in our family. Apart from Mila, she does a little bit these days. Because she needs a toilet. Yeah, and it is only because she needs the toilet and she goes straight back to bed like a good girl. She's very good. But these guys, Isabel, Esme and Isla, never, ever. So last night I'm editing, I'm sat at the table in the in the van uh, editing and um, it's about 2.30 and I hear a massive commotion at the front of the van and it must have been loud enough to come over my headphones because I heard it over my headphones. And my, my instinct reaction was, um, we've been burgled again. So I jumped up, army man, so I went for the kitchen drawer to get a knife and I'm like, what's going on, what's going on? And Isla slugs out of bed, literally rolls off the top of the Isabel. Off the top of the bunk, <laughs> onto Isabel, but not fall. She like she does it like controlled, and she turns to me and I said, "You alright, babe?" And she goes, "No, I need to help, mum." So I said, "What?" She goes, 
Mum's just told me to get her something, I need to help her. So I, was, so I was like, what? And, she, and I, I know Sarah's asleep in the bedroom with Aurora, right? I know they're fast asleep as well, because I've checked on them like 10 minutes before now. And then she, she goes, yeah, Mum's just asked me to get her a knife, I need to help her cut something. So I said, sweetheart, I think you, you think you must be dreaming or something. She's like, go get back in bed, it's all right. And she's like, no, Dad, I need to get this for Mum. She's just asked me for a knife. She's like, she's, she's adamant arguing me. This is like 2 or 3 in the morning. I need to go get a knife and tell Mum to help Mum cut something. And then obviously I tweaked at that point that she was sleepwalking. Oh, so <laughs> dreams, whatever she was doing, but she was asleep, but she was coherently talking Wait, to I me. I knew that happened, but I thought it was a dream. No, that I happened, Nana. I remember you checking my, like, I remember you saying, are you alright? you got a fever? Yeah, that's my, my first sleep reaction was to check her head for a fever, and she didn't have a fever, she was fine. And then, and then, then my, my, I was quite tired at this point as well, so I went and checked on Sarah, because I thought, well, maybe Sarah's text Isla from the bed, which would never happen, nice. to get her, in, and, and I wasn't thinking properly, but I did, I went and checked Sarah again, and then I realised that obviously I was dream, was, or sleepwalking or whatever. Like, I know what happened, because it started off as a dream, and then I was to sleepwalk, so, um, mum was trying to open a, get something out of a box, because she couldn't do it, so she told me to get her a knife. So I was trying to get her knife on scissors. <laughs> so I was doing about opening Amazon packages. And it was very, very bizarre. Anyway, and then I, when I tweaked, obviously I said, go get back in with Sweetheart. You're obviously just you're sleepwalking or whatever. And, and she was like, I'm not. I'm not. I need to help mum, but okay. Do you know why she, you know why she why <laughs> And she went got back in bed. That? Do you know why you dreamt that? Why? Because when you were trying to open that dry road box before we left yesterday, I said to you about five times, Ali, can I use a knife? Oh my god, yes. Yeah. Like thought about that. Yeah, that is anyway, we have our magic passes. They're really beautiful this year as well. Has anyone got one to hand? Yeah. Oh, Isla, there you go. It's so nice. They're really nice this year compared to last year. And we're, we checked in, we can't pick up our keys to the cabins. Yeah, compared to summer, sorry, when we were here in summer. Um, so we've, we've checked in, we can't pick up our cabin keys though until later, so we're going to the park and then we'll head back to the, the, uh, the hotel later. And, Check it all out and do all that good stuff. But right now we're heading towards. Are we going Magic Kingdom first? Yes. And probably Small World. Definitely. Small definitely definitely small, small World. world. Small what about probably? Sorry, definitely Small, small world. world. And then Pets of the Caribbean. Sounds good, man. It's raining. <laughs> we woke up this morning and it was really raining, but it had, we had a little break. But that's definitely. Oh, it's, no, it's not spitting. That's, that's really raining, that is. So we're prepared, we've got umbrellas, we've got from stuff and we're good. Okay, so for the last five years we've been coming here, there have been these travelators down from the car parks, they've been out of action, they've been rebuilding them. I don't know what they've changed because they kind of seem exactly the same as they always were. But they were, um, they're back in action today. Because they make you go faster. Yeah, they make you walk faster. Guys, it's just if you want to be lazy, but also for the last like, how many years? Like oh, At least five. Like these, these have been shut for like five years, and now they're just, and now two, two of them are only just done. Oh yeah, sorry. There's another like three and up, up there, up there that are not done, and those and all those down there. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's only well, two actually done. I can't really remember what they were before, like what they've done to change them, but. Okay. But we're walking on them for the first time in five years right now. And we're not really going any faster than mummies with the pram. So I don't really know what that's about. Why aren't we overtaking you, babe? when you're tired, it's a nice time. Yeah, you just stand still. You have to stand still. Okay, I'll just enjoy this last little bit of them. Just as well. We're wasting too much time. Tying in with the bands coming. Who are you gonna see, Mila? Mickey Mouse. Looking at me like that, I know she's only mine. My friends think she's so dumb and stupid, but I won't tell anyone. Her hands are in my hair, whispering in my ear. I won't tell anyone. Not a soul. But when we are alone, she's such a guys. I love it here so much. I just, I just talked to mom because I was like. 
because we have such good childhood memories here and it was such like a magical thing. I always get so like in a child when we're here. Like, yeah, I love, man. I love it so much. Oh, this is a great starting. <gasps> oh, come here, baby. Hood's there. Why is it all? It's, it's fine now. You're all good. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, just in time. Guys, look. Mira, look down there. Down there. That's so adorable. Hold up, show me. I got her mom. Oh, look at your face, Al. It's so cute. I got another magic ball for my flash year. <laughs> I got a high five. We didn't see Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse then, but why was that, babe? Because they were on the top and I heard Minnie. It was a very short parade, but I heard Minnie Mouse go, Hey, Mickey, let's get ready for our magical parade leader today. That was, that was, that was pretty good. That was so good. <laughs> Call me Minnie. <laughs> The first walk through this arcade, just oh, I just love it. I love the lights. It's on the night time when all the lanterns are on. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. We are missing the lanterns right now. That's right. But oh, just the theming in here alone is just the best. Okay, definitely speaking for everyone right now when I say we're all buzzing because Pirates is open again. Yay. It wasn't open in the summer, if you remember when you watched us when we came in the summer. Hello. And it's only got a 15 Hello. minute queue as well. And it is a small one, it's our first one we have to do every year. It's 20 minutes, so let's go. So if, if the park is not going to curse us by saying this too much, but it feels really quiet here today. So Guys, I am so perfect. happy because this big coat, I'm so warm, my hands are warm, my feet are warm. <laughs> when am I ever warm? Yeah, it's fine. So it's, my, my, my feet are warm. Do you put my warm? My coat. Mum's coat. <laughs> so, is it time, are you ready for a trip to the Arctic now then? You good? That's pushing it. <laughs> but... Isabel might be warm enough to go to the Arctic now in this, in this new coat. No, but I Maybe. thought I was going to be way colder, but I'm not. I'm, yeah. I just feel great. Well, good. So cool. Isabel's one of them people, if you didn't know that, it's always cold. No matter when she's in the middle of the summer, she's always cold. Yeah, I've got veiny hands because that's how warm they are. That is just not normal. <laughs> first ride, first ride, here we go. Jace Mila, Jace Mila, are you excited? Yeah. It's a bear. It's a bear there with a bird. Is it Jace? Are you ready, Mila? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's so cool from the summer. Look at that. Need to redo it. Wait, wait, wait. Is there a way to get off? Yeah. That's a great picture, actually, guys. Here we go. Everybody just like, oh. everyone straight back to childhood with that one. It's amazing. Hello. Chase just got his pirate patch on, all ready for the Pirates of the Caribbean. What? Oh, it's okay. Don't worry. You won't get wet. We won't get too wet. Don't worry. Oh, there is. Big belly bellies, JC. Mimi, are you ready for the pirates? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love this restaurant. Look how good this restaurant looks. We need to eat here this year. Every year. Every year we every year we say how good it how nice it'd be to I eat think, in there, I but want, I want to try some seafood. Like I want to go just to try some seafood. Yeah, I think they've extended the menu now as well. I think there's Probably. like different like, stuff on there like, as well. I think the problem is, is that it's like 45 pounds per meal. And we don't even think Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, guys. I wanted to double check the menu on that restaurant that we've just seen in the Paris of the Caribbean. I think it's actually, it's like a Caribbean menu, I think. Oh. It's not just seafood. It's got seafood, it's got chicken, it's got all sorts of things. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So we could eat, we could eat there. It looks good, actually. Yeah. Sounds nice. Yeah, I'd like to have a look at the menu. If you read the menu, it sounds really nice. Yeah, but it did sounds. used to be just, it's just a regular Disney price, 36 odd pounds a meal. But um, it did used to be only seafood. So that must have changed in recent-ish times, I guess. We should see if we can try and get a reservation. Pick that up the bucket list once and for all after 16 years. I could only get two reservations for this trip. Because it was super busy. Give us some, give us some Boralina. We're getting so tired now. We booked and how busy and my family obviously it's hard to get a table. And the only two places I could get reservations for were the Taverna at our hotel and also Billy Bob's, which is the girl's favourite. So I'm really glad that I could get. I'm really glad I could get a. The, the hotel one is my favourite. Oh, is it? Yeah, one your favourite. Oh my God, the hotel so one. I knew that one of them was your favourite. Anyway, um, we just did Pirates of the Caribbean, and it was absolutely amazing. As always, Aurora's. I, I did actually have a little bit of. <laughs> we went down that first hill. I got a belly her, belly. Her first big, big ride that one was. Yeah, she didn't even. She, well, she's she's not done it since we arrived in the park three hours ago. Need to wake her up really yeah, for a feed. Need to wake her up and give her a feed. It's not even finished on the rock. Should, we should do now. <laughs> no. I can feel her breathing on my chest, so it's really comforting. And, uh, and the reason I've got the scarf over her head right now, I didn't have that on her head, was because Chris left the umbrella on the ride. And we came outside and it was really raining, so I put that there so her face didn't get wet. But um, today and tomorrow, Chris ran back. like today and tomorrow, like dodgy, dodgy rainy weather days, but the rest of the week's good. It's, so. it's not bad. It's not. It's not bad. We've got umbrellas and things. Anyway, what we're going to do now? I've gone out of focus. There we go. Uh, haunted um, Mansion. A haunted Mansion. Then yeah. probably wake her up and give her a feeling that she's stirring. She's stirring now, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, we need a um, we need a loofa, Mila Mila. Oh yeah, tall okay. Okay, the first thing I want to say is how much I love this rain cover that I got for the pram. Oh yeah, it's really good. Whoa! It's such a good rain cover. But the second thing I wanted to say, and the reason I asked Chris to get the camera out was because it's so crazy. One of the things I love about Disneyland Paris is the extremes in weathers. I'm just checking the messages. about this earlier. Um, the extremes in weathers. So obviously right now it's cold. We're all wrapped up massively. It's raining. It's magical and cold. But I just walked past this bench and I remember in summer, sat with Mila because Mila had just gone to sleep in the pram and I was sat on that bench nearly crying at how hot I was. Oh, I, was like sweating. Degrees, yeah. I was looking for some shade and there was no shade anywhere and I just remember being so hot Aurora's away. I just remember being so boiling hot. But now it's like extreme opposites. <laughs> Good morning. Alright let's go find somewhere to feed her. Alright straight off of Haunted Mansion which was amazing. Yeah. Me and Sarah got to ride a ride for the first time in a lot of years on our own, just me and her together, because Isabel wanted to go on with Milo and Jace, and which was really nice because it meant me and Sarah could go together on our own, which is very nice indeed. We've not done that in a lot of years. And guess what happened when we was on the ride? Edna started brushing her hair. <laughs> <laughs> Edna's brushing her hair, fine, whatever. <laughs> That's just Esme in the last 30 minutes of life. That's what she's about these days, isn't she brushing her hair on a ride? Brushing her hair, lip gloss, makeup. 
Anyway, we're currently fast passing it on um, Big Thunder Mountain. Jace, come here. Are you excited? You're going Big Thunder again? Yeah! You haven't been on this since the summer. No. When you did it for the first time. And now we're going to go on it again. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, 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 I thought that was a bit cute, but this is a different one. I don't know why. Well, it's because we've just met up with some friends who have fast passes. They have annual passes, so they have fast pass for rides. So, which is something we are investing in next year because we, when you come more than twice per year, or if you come at least twice a year, which we do, um, then an annual pass is well worth it and you get so many discounts and benefits for it. But we just linked up with our friends who have annual passes, so we're skipping all the queues right now. I'm going on the big yeah. on the mountain. Yeah. Oh, look at that straight on, literally within a second. Wait, where do you want to go, Alice? Okay, let's go. Is it what's doing, Chase? <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm always really grateful to be alive when I come off that ride. It's so good. That last, that last hill that fires you down into the pits of nowhere where you can't even see what you, what's going on around Jason, you. Jason loved it, didn't you, What Jason? did you think, man? He, he, yeah! he didn't even look scared once, he was just smiling the whole way around. <laughs> he loved it. Jason, you were G, man. That's so good. That ride is amazing. I don't know why it felt like faster today because, you know, because the tracks are wet or something. I don't know. It felt... Probably isn't a thing. It always feels erratic. Don't crucify me, but it's one of those rides though that always feels very like erratic. Like, erratic. erratic. Yeah, erratic. it does. Yeah, it like does. You're gonna fly off. Yeah, and the last drop that just literally goes into darkness, it accelerates so fast. Like if you come off the track, you are done. You are not surviving that. Um, it's terrifying. So always makes me feel glad to be alive when I come off that one. And I'm all good. Bears May, her friend Isla, have just whooped around and gone back on it again. So I'm just gonna leap back up with mom. You are such a big boy. How did you go on Big Thunder Mountain? Isabel had to drag me, had to drag me back. I know. On the ride. Because we went over that what? big hill, didn't we? That big hill over the hill. Was it really fast? Um, that ride was... That Thunder Mountain is almost fast. It's faster than Sonic. What? And we went so fast and you were laughing, weren't you, when we went round the... Around the big curve bit. Yeah, yeah, but it was very short. Oh, it, really got, yeah. oh, it was over quite fast, wasn't it? Was it over quite quickly? Yeah, it was too fast. To be fair, we got to the end and he was like, is it, is it more? And I was like, no, it's done now. Oh. It's done to more. I, I, I did this thing. Jace, do you remember the elevator <laughs> ride, the scary one? Yeah. Are you gonna do it with me? No, everyone's saying they've not. No, we don't think he did it. No, I'm saying, uh, is he gonna do it with me? Are you gonna do it with me? Oh. I feel like Big he's Tower of it. Terror. I'm sure we didn't. Guys, comment the, down below because the iPhone will know. We can't remember. Isabel and Chris we think that like, Jace has done Tower of Terror. Me, Esme, and I don't think he didn't no, do it. No, we did. He didn't. He did. Because we were literally sat outside. Esme was like, I'm not going on with him. I, I don't want to watch him do it because Esme, Esme was Yeah, I know we did me. that. But then I'm sure the queue was like no. 45 minutes and we didn't end up doing it. I'm sure, Isabel. Is only Chris thinks he did it. I don't think he did. I don't think he did it. We're gonna try search it now because it'll be. It, it would be the like the thumbnail. Jace, did you go on it before? I swear we did. No, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> what would it? What would you have called it? Like I don't know. Just go to our playlist. Paris isn't on Paris. Paris. Anyway, guys. So because we are incredibly lucky enough to have come to Disneyland Paris quite a few times now, we've decided this trip to eat at different places. Yeah, it sounds like. Stop no, it's quite jumping over. Uh, now, we ate at Annette's obviously last night, but we've decided today that what we're going to do is eat at as many different places as we can because there's so many places here. We always seem to stick to the same ones like Hakuna Matata, Casey's Corner. We always like. Just, we just we just go to the ones that we find comforting and we know we like, but we're not doing that this time and we're at a brand new restaurant. I say restaurant, they're more like quick serve quick serves because the restaurants here the actual like sit down table service you have to reserve and we're a family of eight so we can never we can never get tables always fully booked like I was explaining before oh sleepy girl she's literally slept all day on me today I was saying to Chris before I was like I feel like she just feeds and then goes back to sleep all day long and he's like yeah but she's still only seven weeks I'm like oh my gosh yeah I keep thinking she's older than she is like she's still just a newborn she is actually technically a newborn until she's eight weeks so she's technically still a newborn baby I'm expecting too much of you darling hey, can you grab her actually babe anyway um we've decided that we're at a new place yeah 
Um, and what's this called, this place? Al I know, I, I, I went up the only reason we got here before, right? because I stupidly presumed it was an outdoor restaurant every time we come here before. Yeah, when we're walking across that, I'm just saying now, if it's an outdoor restaurant, we're not eating here. I'm like, okay, boss. <laughs> It's no, it's because it's raining outside, but it's really cute in here. It's cute and cosy and nice, and it's got good vibes. I think they do like lasagna, pasta, and pizza. So, what's everybody want? Pasta, pasta. pasta, pasta. I think it's just a tomatoey based pasta. I think I want both pasta and pizza. You know what? I'm in both. So I can try both and make sure I've selected no. the right one. Hey, hello, Hello, sweetheart. I love you. <laughs> yes, I do. I She's also toasty and warm, which makes yes, me really happy. I do. <gasps> I love you, my chica poo. <laughs> what do you want for dinner? Go on. Pasta? Oh, She's such a good girl. She's definitely by far the chillest baby we've ever had. This one, however, baby Chris, is out for the count. I did just try to wake her up because I don't want you to miss dinner. But she only went off about 20 minutes ago, so we had no chance. Absolutely no chance of a stirring. So I'm just gonna leave her to sleep. Isla just got nervous because as we were paying, Isla had just said she wanted four, four cheese pizza, uh, four cheese pasta. Oh, was it four cheese? No, it just said cheesy pasta. Just cheesy pasta. And as we were paying, a lady was complaining of the till, saying it's disgusting. Yeah, you can have everything, guys. It's disgusting. Okay. And the lady was saying, it's disgusting, I don't like it, it doesn't taste nice, my daughter won't eat it, I tasted it and it tastes wrong. So I was like, oh, obviously everyone's taste different, but I think she wanted a refund, I think she got a refund. But, um, so I was like, oh, what if it's nasty, but no, nice, right? I know likes it, Esme. Beautiful. This one's my boys, my little boy. We have to wait a second till um, Aurora's moved off, off the, the table. table. Esme, me, there's some garlic bread there as well, but guys, despite the fact that the pizza is very cute, Mickey Mouse shaped, Jace, see what yours is, <gasps> what's it, look at it, and with a they had no pineapple, no pineapple, a nice cheesy one. <laughs> so despite the fact that the pizzas are very cute, and you do get garlic bread and a drink if you go for the meal, the menu, which is about 17, or, was it 17 each or 19? It was 84 of us. So it wasn't, 92? Oh, in pounds? No, I'm sorry. It came yeah, through came through as 92. Oh, have to check now. People always ask, like, can you update us on, like, or can you let us know prices oh, and sorry, things like the 92? Sorry, no, 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 no. Everyone always asks, and the reason I never do is because when we did it that one year, <laughs> we just got slaughtered online, didn't we? <laughs> why you have to? Why are you like showing off at how much your meals are or stuff like that? I'm not at all. I do it just for information for Everyone people. Yeah, I used to love knowing things like that when we were planning our trips. The only reason we don't do it now is because we literally did get slaughtered for doing it that one year, but. For anyone that's interested, I can't remember what it was 18, uh, whether it was 17 or 19 euros per meal. But you got the pizza, a small piece of garlic bread, and a drink. But it's gone down in my oh, and nine euros for children's, which is actually good. You get a mini pizza, a juice, just got apple juice, some tomatoes or salad, and then a dessert. You can have an ice cream, like a little ice lolly, um, few pr fruit puree, yogurt. There's a few different options. I thought it was really good for nine euros. Anyway. It's gone down in my estimations for the millionth time because it has no sauce, no tomato, no mayo, nothing. Well, next time we'll bring our own. Next time we'll bring our own. We'll bring ketchup <laughs> in the pan. <laughs> Guys, I am so happy right now. So I've just got into the cabins and I'm really excited because me and our girls have our own cabin and it's really cool. We have like don't really get to do that that often but we thought it would be the best option for this time because, you know, we just get our own space. It's just nice. We're all just having a bit of a family chilling moment's cabin now. Tea. Mum and Dad are having some more wine, and I just came to help Mummy unpack some clothes for Mila and Jace because I was just sat there. And I opened the wardrobe, and look who I saw! Oh my gosh! Look at these cheekies! And we're back in our little Nami van. Nami van? Caravan? Cabin? What, darling? You want to show everybody those? Come here then. 
Come on then. Guys, look at Mimi's pajamas. Oh, she looks so cute. She look Mila, that's not appropriate. Anyway, I meant to film this yesterday and I forgot. Oh, careful, Jace. I meant to film this yesterday and I completely forgot. So, you know I was talking about making that storm noise in your ears? Well, Esme, Esme's a genius. <laughs> Everyone else is like, no, we already knew that, Sarah. Esme, after about 10 minutes, because she can't do it, she said, oh, I just did that storm noise when I yawned. That's exactly the noise. So when you yawn, your ears make like a... It's like a wind noise, like a... It's like a rumbling. Well, it's making that exact noise, but without yeah, yawning. You don't get rumbling when you yawn. No, no. You're not yawning properly to your full. Yeah, yeah. You're not. You're not yawning to your full capacity. Then this is definitely you're just going. This is a Sarah Inghamism. No, it's not. You make the noise when you do a proper yawn. You don't hear that noise when you yawn. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all right. You do. You've just not noticed it. When you do a proper yawn next time, you'll notice it, guys. When you do a proper yawn, you'll notice the noise. So it's basically making that noise, but without yawning. Like this. I now See? I I right. I can't cope with you, man. I cannot cope with you. You need to get off camera now. <laughs> Stop. Right. We're ending the vlog. It's a I super long one. Why would you want to edit this, these oh, bits oh. out? I make the vlog. <laughs> Thank you all oh. so much for watching day one in Disneyland Paris. We hope you guys all I'm enjoyed it. Yeah, I said that. We arrived at our cosy yeah. cabin. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, guys, I'm not. You know, when I walked into Home Bargains and I said I've come in here and I was joking, I've came in to buy a Christmas tree. And then I was like, I'm only joking, I've come for umbrellas. Well, that was true. But. Ta da! <laughs> I did actually bring Jace's Christmas tree from his bedroom. Lights on, Esme. There we go. And that's because when I told Jace to pack a bag with some toys in, he said, Can I bring my Christmas tree? And initially I was like, no, we can't take your Christmas tree. And then I was like, why not? Why can't we put the Christmas tree in the boot of the van? So when Chris said, bring all your stuff and put it in the front door so I can start packing the van, got a shock when that was there. He's like, why is Jason's Christmas tree down here? I'm like, pop it in. Pop it in the van. So. No worries, babe. No worries. <laughs> and then we ended up forgetting the bag of toys. So we need to go buy them some toys because they've been renegades tonight and not to play with. And make sure you come back tomorrow for day two. We've got a really fun day planned. We've got a dinner reservation and things tomorrow. So we're having, we're having. So we're really looking forward to it. Jace wants to come and say goodnight. Thank you all so much for watching. And we'll see you back here tomorrow at 5 p.m. Good night. Good night. Mm. <laughs>